Hey guys, so um, I had to make this video quickly, you know, just to really talk about something that is really heavy on my mind and, you know, this is really because of, you know, the views I heard a couple of um, hours ago and I felt it's important to, you know, inform you guys so that you guys are actually aware that these things are happening and, you know, it helps you make better informed decisions in relation to, you know, you living in the UK. Now, if you're currently on the post-study work visa, now, this is actually not the time to do some of the things I'm going to be talking about in this video. And the major reason is because um, the post-study work visa doesn't necessarily count towards your settlement, especially if you're using, if you're looking at, you know, getting your ILR through the five years route, you need to actually be on the 10 years route to leverage on post-study work visa. So if you're looking at 10 years route to get your ILR, then your time spent or the time spent on the post-study work visa is going to count. But if you're not looking at, you know, going through the 10 years route, you want to go through a shorter route, which is the five years route, um, the post-study work visa doesn't count in any way. And, you know, the reason I'm doing this today is because I recently got an information now that, you know, um, um, someone who um, whose organization has actually promised him in the last one year that we're going to give him certificate of sponsorship now this is just you know something said to him uh you know by the hr that was about a year ago when we had our last conversation and the promise we're going to give him sponsorship while he's on the post study work visa that he needs to wait till it's close to the end of his post study work visa to get the sponsorship only for us to get you know an email from the organization um a couple of days ago that they are no longer or they won't be able to provide this certificate of sponsorship for him anymore and now he has just two weeks before his post study work visa expires and he has to get another job that will sponsor him within the next two weeks or he has to go back to his home country this is really sad now the post study work visa in the uk i think is one of the most um you know amazing uh, visa category in the uk and the major reason i'm saying it's amazing is because it gives you opportunity to do a lot of things i've got you know friends who are currently on the post study work visa right now that are doing amazingly well with the business they're gonna um, you know they currently have i know someone who currently own a cleaning company in the city he lives in at the moment and is making very good at least decent amount of money on the job and of course it's got a business but the major challenge with um the post study work visa is just the uncertainty that comes with that visa category because um although you're not being sponsored by any individual any organization any company um however you've got like a limitation you're required to you know you can't renew the visa you have to get a skilled worker visa eventually eventually and so the visa category is amazing however it is not the time to do some certain things, which I'm going to be talking about in this video. Now, if you're looking at getting, you know, before I talk about um, this situation of someone whose organization didn't eventually give him sponsorship, I just want to talk, you know, really, really around, you know, the fact that if you're on the work visa, this is actually the best time for you to invest in that profession you're looking out for. Now, the reason I'm saying this is because now if you're looking at probably getting into uh, marketing eventually, that's the field you're looking at getting into. Now the post work visa is not the time to spend seven days a week, six days a week doing care shift. Not that care is bad. I did care for two years, my first two years in the UK. So it's not a bad profession. However, if it's not a profession you want to do long term, the post work visa is actually the best time to start making effort towards achieving that goal you actually do want now i know someone who you know um he has always wanted to get into it space you know you want to get according to him want to get into you know cloud computing and all of that and you know because the funny thing is these two years really run so fast i can remember we had a conversation you know um uh, early last year and i was like oh bro you started post study what's the plan when i started the cloud computing training i was like oh yeah let me do care for a while so i can save up enough money to you know get into this job and you know just have enough money for the training and all of that and the last time we spoke in um i think february this year one year after he said hasn't started the training <laughs> because the truth is the, the way the care job works is that you know it's going to take a lot of your time it's going to take a lot of your um, um you know time really because the money is interesting it's actually amazing at least to some extent and you know you get tempted with more shifts and more shifts and more shifts so yeah so he kept doing the shifts and one year just went by i think his post is also going to expire towards the end of this year and he's still doing the care and 
sponsorship is not coming anyway and yeah everybody's wanting air task and now trying to find a way to stay back in the country and if you're doing if you're on the postal visa now this is the time to invest in that particular plan of yours to be honest with you guys is the best time to invest in the you know in this um goal that you want or whatever you want to do a uh, long term here in the united kingdom so it's not a time for you to start picking extra shifts. so i understand that taking those extra shifts can be important because you have bills and financial obligation but really you need to actually look at long term and also this person has actually been saying oh i'll do the training let me make some money more and you know okay you are okay do four shifts in a week you are an agency staff do four shifts a week the other three days in a week try and invest in the training you know after the three days you probably just pick two extra shifts that same week again you know yeah i understand the money is needed but really one needs to actually actually start planning you know long term what exactly you want to do um here in the uk now back to the story of um this individual that the organization sponsors are uh, promised in sponsorship and um now, Kobe last said when we had the chance and it was like, oh, the company said they're going to sponsor me. However, I will need to, you know, um, wait until my current visa expires. Now, the truth is, the company has actually been amazing. It gets well paid. You know, the job is really fantastic. And, you know, the last time we spoke, he was really happy about the fact that they promised they were going to give him sponsorship. And the question I asked him then was that this um, promise, is it written? Do you have a documentation or is it just was an, was there an email sent or something and according to him it was like oh no the hr promised me we had a chat today over you know um a meeting and all of that i'm saying okay this is a yes this is or, or it's not a yes per se it's like this person told you via you know um a chat over a conversation there's no documentation to this effect are you sure you can actually you know um plan your future on this uh promise yeah he said yeah the promise team and they will do it okay i said okay no worries i can't do anything i can't tell you to you know uh, do whatever you don't want to do and um yeah so one year down the line i got a um um this was a book a one-to-one -one session with me for a chat actually forgotten about him at that time and he reminded me of our conversation you know i had to check our previous chat and all of that and I'm, oh yeah what's up how is the skid worker visa only for him to tell me that the company sent him an email he shared the email with me um that you know they wouldn't be able to sponsor him anymore and the reason they gave is because of the new policies that is currently um you know being introduced by the uk government and they will not be able to sponsor him anymore as you know it promised and the truth is he can't fight the organization there's no evidence of the promise there was no email there was no documentation to say that they're actually going to sponsor you this was just what the hr person said and to make matter worse the person he actually had a conversation with already resigned from the organization so the new hr person is saying oh i'm not aware of this promise i don't know anything about it yeah i'm aware some people you know will be uh we're planning on sponsoring some individuals but because of the new policy you know your salary grade um your you know your job role doesn't meet um the requirements for sponsorship so yeah and this person has about two weeks there about before he's posted what visa he has been chasing this sponsorship for the last one month according to him another that exposed to is going to expire they just told him they won't be able to sponsor him and now he has no other way to stay back in the country and it's really sad i felt really bad but the major reason i'm doing this video is really just to inform you guys if you have any organization that promise you you know um sponsorship while on the post study work visa my people please make sure that that promise is documented if it's not documented please don't sleep on that job start applying to other organization because for him he just felt he held on to the promise and he wasn't applying i was also telling him one year ago that see bro they promised you um sponsorship yeah that's fantastic amazing but still start applying to other organizations to get other offers but i think he was trying to be loyal and he was even doing more according to him you know he, he goes over and beyond even more than the 37.5 hours he was contracted to work he works even sometimes over time unpaid just to impress these people to give him sponsorship but my brother the sponsorship is not coming and now he has to leave the country in the next two weeks and if he doesn't get a job which of course he probably wouldn't be able to get a job in the next two weeks trust me because by the time you apply for a job before they even call for interviews and that one month two months so yeah that's just the situation so if you want to study guys this is time to invest on what you want please don't sleep two years go as it moves so fast i know people that got their post study work visa right in front of my eyes and they're telling me oh the visa is going to expire in a few months I'm like few months is it two years already so guys please make sure you have adequate plan don't sleep on anything if the job you have on the promise is serious and it's not coming for start applying to other company don't just keep waiting and you know uh, you know um making an organization be the determinant of your future in this country yeah so there's no structure for this video i just wanted to let you guys know what's happening and how you know you need to i don't know if who is going to benefit from this video but i hope you find this video resourceful if you do 
please click on the like button. If you have any questions or any experience related to that, please state in the comment section. And if you're coming across my channel for the first time, do well to hit on the subscribe button to join the amazing growing family. And to my returning subscribers, thank you guys for being here. I really do appreciate you guys. So this will be the end of this video, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.